dear students uh, continuing with our lecture series or named reactions uh, this is our 12th lecture and uh, in today's lecture uh, we will see the details of uh, buchwald hardwig reamination here uh, this is again uh, a coupling reaction uh, which is catalyzed by uh, palladium catalyst and uh, only difference from the previous lectures is that here formation of a carbon nitrogen bond takes place instead of carbon carbon so uh, this uh, buchwald harvig uh, amination uh, takes place between uh, aryl halides or aryl sulfonates when they are reacted in presence of primary or secondary amines using uh, palladium catalyst uh, we get uh, amines uh, aromatic amines uh, as the product by formation of a new carbon nitrogen bond and in addition to palladium uh, catalyst we need to use strong bases like sodium tertiate oxide as uh, catalyst turnover so uh, the difference uh, from other coupling reactions is that uh, the previous uh, in previous lectures uh, we have discussed the formation of carbon carbon bond uh, through these coupling reactions and here uh, this uh, buchwald hartwig uh, amination is formation of a carbon nitrogen bond through these types of coupling reactions as far as history of uh, this uh, coupling reaction is concerned uh, for the formation of carbon nitrogen bond Uh, when uh, the first example was uh, reported by Megita in 1983, when aryl bromides uh, they were reacted with uh, these types of uh, tertiary amines uh, containing uh, stannous. So when N and diethyl amino tributyl uh, tin, uh, this was uh, reacted with aryl bromides in presence of Uh, this uh, palladium chloride uh, phosphine uh, reagent uh, in presence of toluene as solvent at 100 degree centigrade then uh, we uh, got n and uh, diethyl uh, substituted uh, aniline as the products and the products they were formed uh, uh, from 16 to 80% yield depending upon the substitution present on the ring so uh, this basically means that uh, there is a formation of carbon nitrogen bond uh, through cross coupling reaction and uh, as the reaction is taking place uh, through uh, palladium catalyst uh, in presence of these types of amines and uh, aromatic halides so this is uh, uh, the first example of hartwig Uh, reaction then in uh, 1984 uh, panic uh, they reported the formation of carbon nitrogen bond uh, in the synthesis of uh, levandamycin uh, when they use uh, uh, tetra uh, phenyl uh, triphenyl phosphine tetra uh, palladium uh, complex uh, in 1.5 equivalents uh, when they reacted with this uh, aromatic amine and uh, the aromatic halogen they are present uh, within the same molecule so uh, the uh, formation of uh, an intramolecular carbon nitrogen bond was uh, taking place in this example to give us this uh, as the product so bromide is removed from here and hydrogen is from here with the formation of a new carbon nitrogen bond through Uh, palladium catalysis, uh, catalysis and the product was formed in 84 percent and uh, after these uh, two examples uh, there was a gap of about 10 years and in 1994 hartwig uh, reported uh, systematically that what is the mechanism of this uh, reaction 
and how uh, the aryl halides uh, they react in presence of uh, palladium catalyst uh, with uh, the amines to give us uh, the resultant pro uh, products with formation of uh, a new carbon nitrogen bond so uh, according to him this type of intermediate was involved in uh, the first step uh, when aryl halide reacts with the palladium complex and then uh, this intermediate reacted with the amine to give us the products the detailed uh, uh, mechanism of this reaction is uh, that in the first step the aryl halides or sulfonates they react with uh, palladium zero uh, catalyst through oxidative addition uh, this uh, aryl halide or aryl sulfonates adds uh, through coordination to the palladium ligand and uh, oxidation state of uh, palladium changes from 0 to 2. So then this uh, palladium 2 intermediate then undergo ligand exchange uh, reaction where uh, this uh, X halogen or sulfonate uh, on this intermediate is replaced by the amino group. So H from here and X from here, uh, they are removed uh, through uh, this uh, strong base and uh, ligand exchange reaction uh, between this and the uh, primary or secondary amine takes place and we will get this type of uh, palladium uh, 2 complex containing the uh, amino group. Then uh, this uh, intermediate undergoes uh, reductive elimination uh, for the formation of a new carbon nitrogen bond to give us the products and uh, palladium 2 is again converted into palladium uh, 0 state. So this is how a cyclic uh, uh, mechanism was given and then again palladium 0 can uh, react with another molecule of aryl halide or aryl sulfonate and again we can produce uh, the products uh, for the simplest of the examples uh, if uh, we react uh, four tertiary butyl uh, bromobenzene with pyrrole in presence of uh, palladium acetate and this ligand in presence of uh, this strong base this will be converted into four tertiary butyl uh, substituted uh, pyrrole benzene so this type of carbon nitrogen bond will be formed between pyrrol and the aryl halide the mechanism is that in the first uh, step this aryl halide will react with palladium zero as i have told you through oxidative addition and this aryl halide will add across the palladium ligand and we will get this type of palladium two intermediate then uh, this palladium 2 intermediate will undergo ligand exchange reaction with the uh, uh, secondary amine that is pyrrol and Br from here, H from here is eliminated and we will get this type of palladium 2 intermediate containing a palladium nitrogen bond. And then this uh, intermediate undergoes reductive elimination uh, for the formation of a product having a new carbon nitrogen. So this is how through this cyclic mechanism uh, we can get uh, these types of cross coupling reactions having a new carbon nitrogen bond. Then uh, this reaction has many uh, applications. Uh, for example, most common one is uh, the synthesis of multi substituted thiophenes. So uh, these uh, multi-substituted thiophenes, uh, they can be uh, aminated to form a new uh, carbon uh, nitrogen bond. So when uh, this substituted thiophene having uh, uh, bromo group at uh, position 3 is reacted with uh, this aryl-amine, then a formation of carbon nitrogen bond will take place at these places and we will get aminated multi substituted thiophene as the product in presence of palladium acetate and bitum. 
then similarly uh, the same uh, substituted uh, thiophene when reacted with uh, two aminopyridine then uh, this will form a new carbon nitrogen bond at this place and because of the presence of uh, this uh, delocalization on the pyridine ring this uh, the product formed will undergo cyclization to give us this type of heterocyclic uh, product through uh, butchwald hartwig reaction then these types of uh, substituted uh, thiophenes they react with aromatic amines uh, in presence of palladium catalyst uh, to give us uh, uh, the carbon nitrogen uh, bond formation at carbon 2 at this place we are from here and H from here they are eliminated and we will get these types of uh, products with the formation of a new carbon nitrogen bond then uh, and this is uh, another important application for the synthesis of uh, C2 amide substituted amido uh, 5,4-B pyridines. Uh, so this uh, this is a C2 amide. Uh, this C2 amide group is substituted to this uh, imidazo uh, ring, and this is the pyridine ring. Imidazo pyridine bicyclic uh, heterocyclic compound. Uh, undergoes uh, the formation of a new carbon nitrogen bond uh, when uh, two halo uh, imidazo pyridines uh, where x uh, either it may be chloro or it may be bromo and this r or r1 they are uh, r is uh, alkyl or cycloalkyl whereas r1 may be hydrogen methyl methoxy or phenyl so depending upon the substitutions present on uh, this ring, these rings, the product formed they range from 88 to 96 percent. Then uh, this uh, cross coupling reaction, which called Hartwig coupling, has also been uh, effective for the synthesis of pteridines. For example, uh, these types of uh, tetrahydroteridine derivatives uh, this or this only difference between uh, these two is uh, the substitution at this place so here this is a alicyclic ring whereas here we are having a heterocyclic ring present on the tetrahydroteridine derivative so these uh, tetrahydroteridine derivatives they can be synthesized through cross coupling uh, reactions involving which called hartwig coupling so basically uh, the two chloro uh, two chloro uh, derivatives of these terido, uh, teridonones uh, they react with uh, these types of aromatic amines uh, and uh, a new carbon nitrogen bond is formed at these places uh, to give us the desired product so similarly here the reaction is same only uh, difference between uh, these two is the substitution at this nitrogen this is alicyclic ring whereas this is a heterocyclic ring present on the compound and we will get the corresponding tetrahydroteridine derivatives through uh, this type of cross coupling reaction then uh, the uh, tetrahydroteridine derivatives uh, having uh, substituted indoles uh, they can also be formed uh, through this uh, which world heart peak uh, coupling and again uh, the reaction conditions are same as we have seen in the uh, previous case uh, only difference between the previous reaction and this reaction is here uh, the amine part which we are using is a substituted indole derivative whereas uh, in the previous examples uh, we have used uh, aromatic amines uh, as the uh, other substrates uh, uh, which undergo cross coupling reaction for the formation of a carbon nitrogen 
so now the carbon nitrogen bond will be formed between this nitrogen and this carbon of the uh, two substrates so indoor derivatives they react with tetrahydro uh, teridone, uh, teridonone uh, derivatives and only difference between these two substrate again is this is having an alicyclic substitution whereas this is having a heterocyclic substitution so in both the cases cross coupling uh, reaction between nitrogen and carbon take place in presence of palladium catalyst and here uh, cesium carbonate is used as the base uh, for the catalyst term so these are the references which have been used uh, for preparing this lecture thank you very much